Friday today. I decided to take the day off. I just needed some time to myself for a little bit and、um, just starting the morning off slow. It's kind of my morning routine, if you will. This is kind of what I have usually in the morning a slice of bread and a cup of coffee. It's my favorite thing to have. Usually, when I have the day to myself, I really like being able to just spend a lot of time making a new dish or just a dish that I think requires more patience. And that's why I decided to make ratatouille, specifically the one from Pixar. I've made it before,、um, but I felt like I could do better. And so that's why I decided to make this again. Really taking my time this time. This part to me always feels so brutal. I feel like I am removing someone's guts. I also love lining them up like this because it looks like that. Very cute. I also like roasting them in the oven just because I feel like you can control it a little better. Also, I can just step away for a second. So, ever since I saw this technique on the internet a while back, I've been dicing my onions like this. This is the only way I do it now. This is probably one of the most comforting smells in the world to me. Just onion and garlic with some olive oil in a pan. It smells so good. I had a little trouble with this one. It was a little harder to peel, but I tried my best. I really like how soft and tender it gets, though. It just becomes super easy to work with. I feel like they end up looking a little bit like you know, the fruit medley you find in jars or cans. Just a little bit. Love this part. I also just love adding a splash of red wine to any sort of tomato based sauce recipe. I feel like it adds so much to the flavor. It also just smells really good. Also, tomato paste. This is kind of the dialogue I have in my brain. Always want more. I really love how vibrant this ends up being. Look at all these colors, these different shades. Always have to give it a little taste after seasoning, make sure it's on point. I think I was pretty happy with this one. I recently got these wick jars and I love them. They're so useful for literally everything. Of making a mess when I'm using this blender. But I think we did okay. Kind of. <laughs> this is the part that I always think is the most intimidating. Ever since I accidentally cut my hand that one time, I feel like I've just been really nervous.
Once I got into the rhythm of it though, it actually ends up being really satisfying. I just have to constantly remind myself to not get overexcited, otherwise I would not just be slicing vegetables. The tomatoes are always a little scarier, but made it through just fine. So I may have ended up slicing way too many, but there's something just super satisfying about just laying them out like this. This is the iconic step. I can still remember Remy just laying the sauce on with a spoon that was way bigger than him. So that was my inspiration for this. And then it was just laying the vegetables out. There's something about laying out each slice of vegetable one by one that was very therapeutic. But I just wanted to play around and see if I could stack them up like playing cards four at a time. That works too. So I kind of go back and forth between each method. It does get a little repetitive though, so I like just putting on some music and just jamming out to it as I continue laying out my vegetables. I think that's the best thing about having the whole day to cook because you can just really take your time with it. There's no rush to do literally anything else, so I'm just in my own little world. And about three to four songs later, I'm done. Drizzling on a little bit of flavor. And because we do need to cover it up with parchment paper, I cheat by using another baking dish and making an outline that way. It makes my job a lot easier. I like to think that I'm good at eyeballing this, but I've wasted too much parchment paper trying to do that. I also realized I spent way too much time prepping for this. By this time it was like 2 p.m. ish, I was starving and I had two hours. So it was time for me to get some lunch. This is always the best part color still there, the layers are distinct. I got really, really excited. So excited that I think my hands were actually shaking. I hope it's not obvious. It's slowly coming together. And of course, it's not Remy's ratatouille until I put that final layer up on there. I'm just making the vinaigrette really quickly on the side. I actually really love it. I just eat it with bread normally, but for now, I'm just plating it up, making it look fancy. I 
like we do at restaurants. With a little bit of parsley, a little bit of green, a pop of color. And then because I don't have chives at home, I just used a thyme stem. But from far away, you can't tell. It almost looks too pretty to eat, but after long last, I can finally enjoy the fruits of my labor and give it a little taste. This may be one of my favorite ways to spoil myself a little bit. And now I can go and enjoy the rest of my day off. Thank you for spending the day with me. Until next time.